hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue our code igniter 4 series where after the connection of database we are going to fetch the data okay so as simple i have created one students table inside my code igniter 4 database there is a student table and in this i have inserted few records that is one and two which is over prakash and Om prakash data we have inserted right so guys now let's fetch this data in coding nitro 4 so let's get started with it so guys first step let's set up everything and yep so let's go to app first let's set a route for it okay so as you see that you can see inside this navbar i have created one students url so let's copy this url and register in our routes so let's go to app config so inside config routes.php file okay so it's over here so let's just give control s and now let's create a route for it as simple let's type dollar r o u t s okay routes where get function inside that get function i am going to call my url thing student and let's create a controller for it so let's create one student controller where i am going to call it index function okay so now let's copy the student controller name and create in a controller so inside your app folder you can see a controller so right, right click on it and let's create a new file where i am going to create student controller.php so let's hit now guys your controller is ready so now what you have to do let's import all the classes for it so as you know in when you install that in your home page home.php you get a default controller so let's copy that control a c and control v and just what the name you have given that student control copy that and paste over here okay so let's paste student controller where you're extending with the base controller and now inside this function index function you will return the page so let's create one students folder inside that i am going to call this index page okay so guys let's create the page inside the student folder called index.php if you want you can extend that okay so let's copy this and go below inside your views folder i am going to create one students folder students hit enter inside the student folder i am going to create one index file index.php file done and now let us tell hello save this and let's test that you can see the hello output and now guys let us get back to code and start the coding so if you're using code igniter 4 you know about very well about extension so let us just copy that extension thing so let's copy and import that extensions done so these are the extension which we extend that extend and section thing so if you do not know about this extend thing please watch out that video which is given in the link known as view layouts so guys now let's continue so let's get back to our controller now from this controller we will create one student variable is equal to where i want to call my student model so student model okay and this student model which i want from here so how will you this is my table okay so let's create one model let's copy this and let's go to app inside app you can see the models folder so inside this model folder i am going to create a new file mo student model dot php done and now over here you have to include the files for creating the model so let me just start with that open php and then namespace namespace app folder where inside app i am inside the model oh s models folder give semicolon and then you have to call the path okay so i am going to use code igniter where backslash called model done and that's with the help of this we are going to create a class called student model model okay the student model which we have named the file let's extend this 
extends which model done when it extends we have to clear out with this model so this model will call into this uh, like that it will call so guys now what we have to do we have to call our table name so let's type protected dollar table is equal to inside single quote your table name not percentage you have to give dollar shift four okay so my table name is nothing but student so let me copy this and paste over here and then what are the primary keys what is the primary key you can mention that or else ignore primary capital k e y key where i will mention this as id so this is my primary key id done and now let's get back and call the fields you want okay so dollar protectable protected where allowed a capital f i e l d s fields is equal to inside array you can call it okay as simple so let's call that first is name and then second is email third is about phone and the fourth is course c o u r s c course done and now guys you can see these four fields which i wanted name email phone and course this created at is created as timestamp so ignore this so now with this words our table is connected now make sure your spelling is correct t a b l e primary capital k is required and here allowed fields is f is capital okay so let's save this and now this model will be student model is called into your controller so let's call over here now to use this model we have to call at the beginning so how will you call that so let me just call it so let us call that path so as you can see that we will tell use which inside app folder inside app folder going to models folder inside models folder you are going to student model which you have created done so this is the path okay so let's save this this with the help of it will call this model and now this model whatever you are getting that we will return that so guys let's create a variable called data inside that data i am going to paste this students okay let's create a variable called students is equal to then pass this student object which you have created let's copy and send this student object of where i am going to find all so you want to get all the records you can use this find all function given by the coding nighter so you can utilize this and get the data and now inside this dollar data you are going to pass done and now guys let's see the output for it so a simple it will be a blank only so let's just refresh cool okay so this extended now because we have added the extension where is front end layouts okay and now guys we have to code into this so i have already designed one format for the displaying data table bootstrap table so let us just copy and paste so guys i'll paste now done so it's as simple you can see a container where row column and inside the card and card header i have displayed the data and inside the card body i have displayed my table design okay so this is bootstrap table design which i'm using it and the columns which we required id name email phone number course and your action so for the action is about delete and edit okay so now let's call the data inside this so before calling we will check the output of it so as simple you can see that it's very less content which we are getting from here so now let's get back and call the content code over here so let's check first we will check in the php open php with the if condition we are going to check so it is working or not so if there is any data then you can loop it so we have to get that students so why the students you are getting from your controller as students so this variable you have to copy and where is it index you have to send it over here done so guys now let us end if this i mean create end if and give semicolon done so if there is data it will come inside this else it won't come so now as simple let us copy this and paste let's make it to tr end and from th let's make it to td and now guys let's loop this 
simple open php and close php inside this for each loop we are going to use so for each where open bracket and give colon where dollar students as dollar row done so this and let's end this for each and for each simple so for each started for each end and now guys you have to paste the data so let me just paste that so now let me remove this and paste the data that's it as simple as you can see that where dollar row so i have taken the dollar row and all call that's id name email phone and courses guys so let's see this output and let's save and now let's get back over here let me refresh okay cool so you can see that all the data have come over here whatever it's inserted into this done so guys see in about next inserting the data in next video so guys, thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share